Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with another of my Savvy Side Hustle slash work from home videos. And in this video right here, I'm gonna be coming to you guys with some easy side hustles that you can do, that anybody can do, whether you're a regular person with no children, you're in college, or you're a stay-at-home mom. I know for stay-at-home moms, they need to be able to do something that's easy, that's not gonna interfere with their children's schedule, or something that they can do maybe while the baby is sleeping or whatever the case may be. Anybody can do these side hustles. You don't need a whole lot of experience to do these side hustles and you're actually gonna get paid some pretty decent money between a few extra hundred dollars a month to a couple thousand dollars a month doing these side hustles. And one last thing that I wanna add before I get into this is most of the time when I'm recommending side hustles to you guys, I've either done them myself, currently do them, or have applied to do them. So I'm not gonna recommend you guys anything that I wouldn't do and when you're coming to my channel and you're getting information about certain things on my channel, just know that I've done it. So you're getting information from a real side hustler, okay? You're getting information from someone who knows the ins and outs of what they're talking about because they've actually done it themselves, okay? So that's something that's important for you guys to know. If you guys like this video, make sure to like the video, leave a comment, and also share this video with anyone who's looking for legitimate work from home jobs. And if you guys are not subscribed to my channel, feel free to subscribe. If you don't wanna subscribe, that's fine. But if you do wanna subscribe and keep up to date with all of the latest work from home, this is definitely the place where you need to be, okay? So let's go ahead and get straight into it. One of the first side hustles, and you can use this as a side hustle or you can use it as a job, it's totally up to you but this is going to be online scoring. If you're not new to my channel, you'll know that I've talked about online scoring many times. I've been scoring since 2015. I absolutely love it, okay? So online scoring is when you score standardized tests for students. It could be for various grade levels. You don't need a phone to do it. All you need is a computer. If you have a Mac, you can use a Mac. There are a few companies that you can work for, but two of the main companies, one of them is Pearson and one of them is Measurement Incorporated. I have worked for both of the companies, but I've been with Pearson the longest since 2015. And as far as scoring is concerned, it is seasonal because of course testing is not year round. So you can work in the spring and you can work in the fall. And as far as pay during training, you will get paid $10 an hour. And during the actual scoring season, you will make $12 an hour. One thing I love about Pearson, you can work anytime that you wanna work between the times of, I believe it's, 8 a.m. to 11 p.m. Eastern time. So you can work any hours that you wanna work in between that time. You can work up to 40 hours a week, but you need to work a minimum of 20 hours a week. If you wanted to work from eight to 12 and then, and then you have something else to do in the middle of the day, you can turn around and do that and then come back and then work in the evening, a few hours in the evening if you wanted to do so. Like I said, you don't have to talk on the phone. Prior to scoring, you would qualify for which items you're gonna score and they'll have you do qualification tests and things like that to make sure that you're qualified to score an item. And if you're like me and you've been scoring for years, you kind of pretty much know all of the answers and stuff like that. Really pretty much able to just breeze through the, the questions and of course still be accurate. Accuracy is definitely important because you are affecting children's lives by you know scoring their papers and everything like that. So if you've scored a certain amount of responses in a day's time and your accuracy is on point, you can earn bonuses and make even more than the $12 an hour, okay? I would say during the scoring season, which typically lasts about maybe six to eight weeks, and depending on how much you work, you can earn at least a couple of thousand dollars during that time period. You do have to have a bachelor's degree and it can be in any field. And if you have a bachelor's degree in any field and you're able to pass the qualification test that they give you, you will be able to become an online scorer. Now with Pearson, sometimes people say that they have a waiting list, but I've had people say that when they applied that they were told that there was a waiting list, but then they, those same people came back and said that they ended up getting hired for the upcoming season. So it really just depends. So I definitely encourage you to apply either way. And also Measurement Incorporated is good also. It's pretty much the same, except you, know, you don't have as much flexibility in the hours. You can pick a shift, you can work a four hour shift, or you can work between the hours of, I believe it's 8 a.m. to 5 p.m or you can work in the evenings, but you don't have the flexibility to be able to come and go and work an hour here, hour there. You definitely have to work either the four hour shift or the whole eight hour shift. So 
that's the difference between Pearson and Measurement Incorporated. And Measurement Incorporated is more of like of a reader position. So you will be doing more reading than you would actually do with Pearson, okay? So I will include the links to Measurement Incorporated and Pearson in the description bar for you guys, okay? Another side hustle slash work from home job that is really easy and convenient is Live Ops. I did recently do a video on Live Ops a couple of months ago. Live Ops is good because it gets your foot in the door with working from home and you can pretty much work anytime that you want. When I first started working Live Ops, I was working at like four o'clock in the morning and I worked a couple of hours before I went to my day job. And eventually I ended up quitting my day job and transitioning into working from home through the help of Live Ops, okay? So it would be assisting customers and being on the phone and stuff like that, which everybody doesn't really like to do that. But the reason why I included Live Ops on the list is because of the flexibility of being able to work almost any time that you want to work in a 24-hour period. So if you want to work while your children are sleeping or while the baby is sleeping or whatever, you want to work a couple of hours or, you know, whatever you want to do, you do have that flexibility to do that with Live Ops, okay? So that is why I'm including Live Ops on this list because you can pretty much work when you want to work depending on which client that you work for, okay? It's pretty easy to get on with Live Ops. We'll have to pay for a background check because it is an independent contractor position. You will need to pass that background check and if you don't pass the background check then that money is not refundable to you okay so that's the only thing about that but other than that you know you really don't need much to work live ops you can use your laptop and all you need is a landline phone and the laptop and you're pretty much good to go like i said you can put yourself on the schedule and schedule yourself to work at the times that are convenient for you and your lifestyle and at the same point in time you're going to be getting that work from home experience that you may not have so next up you guys know that i am really big on mystery shopping that is what i do i do a lot of mystery shopping on a weekly basis and i love it for the purposes of this video i'm only going to be mentioning phone mystery shopping because we're trying to make these side hustles as convenient as possible for you guys and it may not be convenient for everyone to go out to different locations and do mystery shops okay but one of the best examples i can give you as far as a phone mystery shop is if you call into the service department of a dealership and pretend like you're trying to make an appointment to get your oil changed, okay? You would just follow the guidelines that they're telling you to do and you would just, like I said, call into the service department and pretend like you're gonna be scheduling an oil change and you would simply just evaluate the way you're treated by a service person that you speak to. And then after the call, you simply just enter in your report, enter in all of the information from the call, and then that's it. So you can get paid to do that. You can do that several times in a day, several times in a week. And those tend to pay between three and $5 a call, okay? Some of the best companies to do phone mystery shops with would be IntelliShop and also Bestmark, okay? so. I'm signed up with both of the companies. Like I said, I'm not just coming to you guys with information I have no clue about. I'm coming to you guys about stuff that I actually do and that I know can make you some money and that I know is convenient and easy for you. So yeah, IntelliShop and Bestmark are the best companies to go with when it comes down to phone mystery shopping. If you guys are interested in mystery shopping where you have to travel and go from location to location, I will include a couple of other companies for that as well. Merit CX is my favorite mystery shopping company. I've been working with them since 2013 and I be getting paid, okay? Another, so another easy side hustle that pretty much anybody can do is the job as social media moderator. You'll be monitoring the social media accounts for companies. You may have to make some posts. You may have to respond to some comments and things like that but it's definitely something easy that you can do because we all use social media. We pretty much know how to use it. So why not get paid to use it? There are a few companies who hire social media moderators. I'm gonna put those in the description bar, but one of the companies that I know right off the top of my head is Time, etc. They hire virtual assistants and they also hire social media moderators. So like I said, a super easy job to do. All you have to do is have some social media experience and you should be able to do this job. I think that they earn between probably 10 and $12 an hour. Of course, that's gonna vary per company. All you pretty much need is high-speed internet and a computer, and you should be good to go as a social media moderator, okay? And the last type of side hustle that I'm gonna be mentioning to you guys is rent surveys, okay? So this is not a survey in a traditional sense, but this is basically another version of mystery shopping where you will be calling apartment complexes and gathering information okay and the company that you can do this with is yardy matrix and the reason why i'm mentioning this one last is because 
currently they're not hiring. They just started their fall rent surveys on September 4th. So they won't be hiring again till the spring. They hire in the fall and the spring. And basically, like I said, you would be calling apartment complexes and inquiring about information. So let me just give you guys a little bit more information about this. A rent survey updates an apartment's community's rent, current rent specials, and several other factors subject to frequent change. The process involves calling apartment communities and asking various questions. So super easy. You can be at home on the couch, sitting down with your child and doing this, or you, you know, you can do this while your child is sleeping or whatever you want to do. All you need is a telephone and high speed internet access because you are going to need to enter in the information and the reports and all of that type of stuff. And basically you're gonna be conducting call as a potential renter to ensure accuracy of information. All right, so this requires you to play the role of a renter, okay? So that's pretty much all you'll be doing. Super easy, you're basically just pretending, but you're making money while pretending, okay? And as a surveyor, you will be paid $6 per hour and a piece rate of 50 cents for surveys marked done, 30 cents for surveys marked wrong number, 20 cents for surveys marked part done, and seven cents for surveys marked answering machine or no answer. However, you will receive at least minimum wage in your jurisdiction for all hours worked. However, you can earn more depending on your speed and efficiency, okay? So you're gonna be getting paid regardless, okay? So this is definitely really good. Now you must have a minimum of 75 completed surveys the first week and 100 completed surveys each week thereafter. And the calls have to be made between the hours of 9 a.m. and 6 p.m within the survey time zone. I'm gonna give you a whole bunch of information that you need to study. And then I think you're gonna to need to have to pass a test to go ahead and move on. And the only thing that you would need to do is you know, submit your resume and they give you an email where you can submit your resume. So yeah, like I said, another super easy side hustle that anybody can do. They're gonna be paying you for your time, period, point blank. So that is always good. And I will put the information to Yardy Matrix in the description bar for you guys, okay? Okay, everybody, those are all of the side hustles that I have for you guys today. All of the links will be in the description bar for you. If you guys are looking for any other side hustles, I will include a link to the side hustles page on my website, giving you guys a few other side hustles. You guys know if you have any questions or comments, you can definitely leave those below for me. And as usual, I thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.